I think because I'm a published anthropologist, people tend to think that, that the writing comes later, but that always always came first, the desire to write. So I always, I always had some novel brewing in the background. I love process. I love that creative process, which is what the novel's about in some ways, in a lot of ways. I get to talk about the process of being an ethnographer and trying to write fiction, or in the case of the director, trying to, to create a play. And the director was under the same constraints I was, right? Because he, he had all sorts of self-censorship issues that he had to deal with. At one point, I realized that even though I live here in this country, in the US, and I function as an academic, as an intellectual here, because I continue to go back to Iran, and because I want to continue to go back to Iran, because I have family there that I care about, and I have interlocutors there that I care about, I'm under the same constraints. I might as well be living in Iran writing this. You know, I might as well be living in Iran making my films or anything else I do. Because always in the back of my mind is, um, how, how is the government going to see this? How is, what's this going to do in terms of impeding my future research? And I think that also plays into it being an ethnographic novel because it was written by an anthropologist who has to think about these things. You know, I, there are a lot of um, folks, you know, Iranian especially, who they'll go and they'll make one film and they'll get out and that's fine. They don't want to go back. Or they'll write one sort of inflammatory novel and they're out, you know, but I want to go back. I don't know if I can, <laughs> but so, you know, that was always there. So it was just sort of freeing to be able to sort of talk about some of those issues because I, I understand them deeply.